Yo, what's up guys? This is uh, Bobo Rail here from uh, Bigger Secrets and Lore. And uh, today I'm going to be covering uh, a couple leak guns that we got uh, a few months back. And uh, Christopher actually already made a, uh, made a video on it. But uh, it was uh, pretty low quality to say the least. So I'm just coming back in, doing a quick remake of it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy and... Uh, get some uh get some info on these new guns. So um yeah, let's jump right into it. So uh first off, we got the uh G3 SG-1. This is uh basically just a uh German um assault rifle uh just like the G3 already in game. It's made by uh H&K and if I had to guess, it's probably going to have both semi and full auto on it um yeah it's got a scope so this thing's probably gonna be more fitted for some longer range combat pretty much your standard DMR now uh, up after that we got the AWM or L115A1 or the L96A1 it goes by a lot of names but it's basically just because of the uh, multiple identical variants of it at the end of the day, they all do the same thing, though. Uh, they destroy targets at longer range and use a uh, .338 Lapua Magnum. Uh, this bad boy is probably going to be super accurate and heavy hitting, and we'll likely get a new ammo type. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I am very excited for this one. I'm ready for a uh, heavy hitting bolt action. That's not the Mosin. So, uh, after that, we have the AIMS, uh, 74. Uh, this one is pretty much just another AK variant. It's, a uh, Romanian. Uh, as you can see, it's, uh, just an AK with a foregrip. I'm interested in this one because I want to see if the devs actually make the foregrip have, like, a function and control the recoil. If I had to say what to expect, I would say it's gonna just be another AK with slightly easier... Uh, controls like uh, less recoil uh, yeah this one I don't think it's gonna be that great we already have three AKs in the game if you're then that's not counting the RPKs so um yeah um, I just don't think it's gonna add any more variety uh, next up we have the VSS this one is a Russian made uh, sniper rifle but it's very interesting uh, this one shoots a 9 times 39 ammo, and uh, we'll also have a new ammo type in the game. That's cool. Uh, I'm excited for this because in real life, it shoots subsonic rounds, which means that it has a slower projectile speed, which means it'll probably equivalent in game as well to have uh, one of the slowest muzzle velocities. But this makes it very quiet. And this gun also already has, as you can probably see, a built-in barrel suppressor. So, if I had to guess how this is going to play, super quiet, uh, going to be uh, probably low damage, uh, slightly uh, higher fire rate kind of sniper rifle. Going to take the slowest round or the smallest round of any sniper in the game. So, I want to see how this one plays. Next up, we have the. MP5 SD. This is another German gun, straight out of uh, H and K, and it's uh, chambered in nine millimeter. And I'm really ready to see another new SMG uh, in nine mil. That's not the Suomi. I'm gonna be real. Um, this one's gonna be another silenced one because it's specifically the SD variant with that built-in suppressor. Um, but I would not be surprised if we end up seeing a uh, unsuppressed variant either further down the line or even coming out at the same time as this one. Uh, MP5 is just such an iconic gun, and I personally can't wait for this one. Next, we have a Finnish uh, light machine gun known as the KK-62. This one was pretty hard to find. Uh, it wasn't very well documented and took me a pretty good deal of research to figure out what it is uh, from just a relatively a relatively bad uh, picture of it but uh, yeah it's basically just your standard um, belt fed M LMG 
and I imagine that it's going to be pretty hard to handle and hit pretty hard. Uh, if it takes 762 by 39, and it's probably going to play something similar to the PKM. Next, we have the Aug Para or Aug 9 millimeter. This gun, as you could probably guess, also takes 9 millimeter, and it's made by Steyr, same people uh, that made all the uh, other Aug variants, as you could probably guess. And uh, we've got, yeah, this one's going to be interesting because it's the only uh, 9 millimeter um, gun that has a sight on it. So maybe using that all that precious precious nine mil ammo at uh, some of those longer ranges um, so now we're closing in on the uh, final ones but we got the infamous FAMAS this gun is as French as they come and it takes 5.56 five, uh, this one should probably have both fully and burst fire options although I wouldn't be too upset if it didn't have the burst because we already got the M16 in the game I'm a huge FAMAS fan, I'm going to be real, I love the aesthetic of it, I love how it looks, uh, yeah, I want to see this one, I think it'll be cool. And now for the L86A2, this is a the British standard issue light machine gun, and it takes 5.56 ammunition. This one will uh, probably behave something like the RPKs, but it's gonna probably kick less as well because it's got the uh, smaller 5.56. Five, I'm curious with the, this one, but uh, it, it's basically the same thing as the RPK where it's just a slightly modified version of a uh, assault rifle. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for this one. Um, then we also just have the uh, AR variant of it at the uh, last spot with the uh, L85A2. Uh, I say the A2 variants for both of these, by the way, because the A1s, although they were rare, or not rare, came before them, uh, they were pretty unreliable and not used in the field a lot, so I would guess these ones are going to be the A2s just because of there were sheer numbers. Uh, more of the A2 variants were produced. So, uh, yeah, this is just the standard AR of the uh, British Army. Um, it's got pretty good range. Um, it's uh, another bullpup where the uh, magazine loads from the behind the uh, behind the trigger, and um, yeah, I I'm not expecting that much from it. Probably just going to be a automatic five five six. I feel like this one's probably going to get overshadowed by the Famas though, and uh, to be honest, I'm not going to blame them anyone uh, for picking the Famas over this one. I uh this one might have a little bit on the Famas though, only because it has a uh, a sight on it, so, I don't know, I'm interested to see how this one plays too. So, uh, I hope all you guys, uh, enjoyed this video, uh, just gonna be a quick one from me, trying to, uh, remake some of this stuff before point nine drops, and we'll see what's, uh, what the new updates bring. Uh, this one was just unscripted, just kinda me talking, hope you guys enjoyed it, uh, and, yeah, just trying to keep you all informed. So I'll uh, I'll see you all in the uh, next video. See ya.